Good morning, everyone. It's Muriel. So I'm here this morning to work on some Christmas tags. I thought I would get a jump start on working on my 2017 Christmas tags. And I thought I would bring you along with me to show you how I am going to be making the first round. I'll probably make about six different tags and then probably 20 of each something like that last year I made so many but um, everyone was so happy with them when I shared them with with them that I don't want to disappoint so um, Jill Norwood introduced us to these Christmas tags a couple, several years ago and I'm so thankful because I think it's a wonder wonderful tradition to do um, I hand them out uh, Thanksgiving Day when I go to my extended family and then to uh, co-workers and then mail some out to you guys so let's get started with my first round of Christmas tags when yes when when I pulled out all of my Christmas boxes yesterday the one thing I realized is that one I have too much stuff two I have a lot of pre-made tags and what I mean by pre-made tags is that I make tags and I also buy tags so here are just a few that I have purchased from Target and you'll recognize them because you probably have them in your stash so here are some pretty rustic ones I love this ribbon but they're already done and here are some chipboard gift tags with the um, glitter Merry Christmas. Here are some fabric tags. And they have jute twine cording here. Here are some metal tags. And lastly, here is some pink paisley Merry and Bright um, tags that I am already working on. So this is a second pack. Good gracious. So that's what I thought. Let's just spruce up what we already have. That's a great start. It'll allow me to have a base and then I can just pull out items that um, I have in my stash to accompany them with. So the first thing I did was I took my tags downstairs and I sewed them. I gave them a homespun look. Um, I just uh, attached it or glued it down to some paper and I went around the edge with my sewing machine right so hopefully that will give it a homespun look and this is just three that I glued down and the paper that I am gluing the tag on <clears throat> is the pink paisley merry and bright sorry and by the time I'm all finished this pad will be used up so now I'll have 29 um, six by six pads because I showed you yesterday my list that I have about 30 so let's put this over here so basically the first thing I did was I glued the tag onto some paper I just picked the paper from the pad glued it on and then I am using my um, what is this called perfect layers and I picked an edge and I just butted up the tag with the edge and I cut it all out right you're familiar with this so you just need to decide which kind of border you want, how much of a border you want around your tag. Once that was done, I ended up with something that looks like this. So now the process begins on how am I going to decorate it. So I pulled out some Recollections goodies. If you recall this pack of dimensional stickers. So I thought I would use um, this little guy on the center here so we're just going to undo him and I am using some quick dry adhesive even if it has a sticky base just because I don't want them to fall off and I don't know how folks handle uh, these tags once I give them to them so we're going to put that like that now this tag says dear Santa so you have this reindeer with all of these presents okay so that right there let me put this back in here then what I when I look at my tags and I go okay what else can I do with this so this has a red circle um, here for the opening and I thought I could change that up a bit so what I did was I took some of this holiday glitter paper and I showed this to you yesterday from Craftsmiths. You can purchase this at Michael's. And I took a one or a five-eighth 
inch punch and I punched out a bunch of circles in several colors. I have silver, green, and mm -hmm. red. Oh, excuse me about that. We're not going to answer phone calls. Okay, so several green and red. So I thought with this one here, why not add some green to it? So we're going to go ahead and put that over there. I'm just going to move my cell phone out of the room so we don't have to hear it buzz. So, um, let's see if I can get a little close up here. Sorry. Okay, so I just kind of put it here and see, then that makes it like um, a layered uh, green over red. So I'm going to take some um, washi tape and, well, first of all, I'm going to punch that hole out. Let me not get ahead of myself. I have this um, large hole punch here. You can see the size of it. And I'm just going to punch that hole out. And it's the biggest one I have. So if you have something bigger, that's great. So you can see it kind of leaves a little edge around. So then I go back in and just kind of get as much of it out as possible. Okay, so there's the hole there. Now I'm going to tape this. I'm going to center it as much as I can. And then I'm going to use the washi tape to hold it in place. Then once I turn it over, I can see where the hole should go. And I'm going to go ahead and punch that out. And I usually turn mine just to make sure that it comes out. Okay, same thing here. I could do a little bit more on one edge, one corner. Okay, so there's the hole there. So then once you take off the washi tape, there you go, it's kind of perfectly centered. So now I'm going to take some quick dry and I'm just going to put a little around the edge and I just usually tap it just so I can see just a little and then we're going to place it down there we go so you can see now I have you know added some color and changed it up a bit so then I look at this and I go what else can I do um, I saw something else so the tag says um, naughty or nice and of course we're going to check nice so I saw this if you can see this uh, sticky here that little piece on the end looks like a check mark so I know you're probably saying really you could just check it with a pencil but yeah I know I could but I just want to use this little thing here so we're going to get it off and we're going to um, if I could peel it off here we're going to check put this on the end I could use tweezers you know my life would be so much simpler if I use my tools so we're just going to put that right in the box that says nice there you go okay then I look at that and I go what else can I do so I have a bunch of these. I actually have three unopened packs. Whew. So I said, okay, well, there's some space down here. Why don't I use this one that says Santa Stop Here? Because it says Dear Santa and the kid with the present. So why not stop here? I've been nice. So again, I'm going to put a little um, adhesive on this here just to ensure that it sticks let me just close this up okay and we're going to pay and plus it's it's got the khaki and it's also got some color to it so we're going to place that right there okay so I'm thinking, okay, what else can I put on here? So I do, um, on the back of the uh, tag, I had these glitter gift tags from Michaels. 
and they have kind of a uh, rustic look. So I'm just going to um, stick one on the back for this person and then they won't have to worry about that. There you go. Okay, so now I need to add some ribbon to this here, but before I do that, I think I wanna add some, some kind of glitter. So I think I'm gonna go over the word Dear Santa with a little diamond stickles. And I'm not gonna to try to be perfect, so I'm just gonna give it some sparkle. Let me make sure I get it going here, okay. Just wanna give those words some sparkles, so I'm just gonna like, as if I am writing this out as I'm squeezing. There we go. Just a little sparkle. Okay, so now we're gonna put some ribbon on this tag. And I had uh, looked in my things that I recently purchased from a garage sale recently. And there was a pack of ribbon. And then with working with some today, some other tags, I have some leftover pieces. Um, I thought there was a green gingham. Oh, there's black. That's what I wanted to add. So I, th oh, look at that little piece. That's not going to work. So behind me, I have some ribbons on uh, like a spool from my closet. So I'm going to cut some of this um, green gingham because I think gingham just speaks fall. That'll add some green to it and maybe that piece there. So I'm just going to kind of cut these to where I think, um, well actually we can cut it off. Let's see here. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to thread this through my hole. I'm sure it should be dry by now. And the last thing I do at the end is ink the edges. I don't want to do that now because I don't want ink on my hands. Okay, so we got that there. And then I have some gold thread. I've had these for such a long time. They're from Stamping Up. But I think I'm going to use gold. And I'm just going to cut off a piece. And I'm going to tie it around this um, top of the ribbon. And I'm going to tie it in a knot because this twine is is notorious for um, not staying shut if that's if you understand what I'm saying so tying it in a knot will give me a little bit more assurance that it won't come open so now once that knot is tied then I'm just going to make this quick bow Let's see here Okay, just like that. And then it has to have a charm. So I pulled out my little box made for me by SS Crafter One. Thank you so much, Tammy. Hope you're doing well. And let's see what we have here. There is a Christmas stocking. And that looks about what I'll work with. <laughs> I'm not trying to be picky. So then I have some of these garment tags that I keep in a box here called Tim Holtz Embellishments. And I have them in black and silver and bronze. And as I mentioned to you guys a long time ago, um, I find a lot of my garment tags on my clothes that I buy when I get new clothes. Some of them have garment tags, so I never throw those away. But I have bought mine from Sky Blue Pink many years ago. And I'm sure you can find them other places too. So I'm just going to put this on here. Uh, put it underneath the tag. And then secure it. And there you go. The stocking is hanging. So my last step will be to ink the edges. And I think... I don't know if I want to add any... Um, you know, I have some, what is this called? Rhinestone adhesives. This stuff here. But I'm not sure if I want to add any on this one. So for now, I'm just going to ink the edges. And again, it's totally what you 
want to do with your tags. Let me kind of back out a bit. But I'm just going to do the edge like this, just a little, not anything too pronounced. And then I have, you know, my plastic bags that I keep these in. There we go. And that's one way of sprucing up a pre-existing Christmas tag. So let me show you some that I've already made. Here is one. And I'm using, again, some dimensional stickers from Michaels, some rhinestones, and the charm, and it's just some little uh, puffy stickers with some ribbon. And here's another one. I used a badge, some little puffy stickers, another charm, some recollection bling. And then there's one. This charm happens to be a deer. And um, these dimensional stickers, another button, and some, I kind of wanted those to look like bullhorn or reindeer antler, excuse me. And again, some um, stickles, diamond stickles with the ribbon. And then the last one is this one here. Just says Merry Christmas. I have some packages. I have um, where it says at the bottom from. I have Santa Claus and then a candy cane charm and some ribbon so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope you are able to take something from this and recreate or repurpose pre-existing tags to get a head start on your christmas tag making this holiday season i appreciate you all thank you for watching bye now